What's up, wizards? What's up, world? And welcome back to the Kingmaker series. I'm your host, Arcanus, and tonight's matchup is going to be between Covetous and C. This matchup spans across the Atlantic and has Covetous representing the East Coast United States, while C hails from Western Europe. The two styles matched up couldn't be more different. In Covetous, we were expecting to see his super aggressive, all offensive based style where he will be looking to force the action and land one of many touch-of-death combos. C, on the other hand, will be attempting to counter that with his more technical, more balanced skill set, taking advantage of the subtleties of each Arcana's range, speed, and speciality, while switching gears quickly between offense and defense. This match will determine who will move on to the semifinals to face Scary Jack on the left bracket. It looks like my co-host has arrived and we are ready to go right into the pregame lobby. All right, everybody, we are now in the pregame lobby where Covetous and C will be setting up their loadouts. Joining me now is Triple V, fellow fighting uh, analyst. What's going on, guys? Uh, so, Trip, we're going to be looking at their loadouts here. So on the left, we have Covetous, and on the right, we have C. Uh, Covetous looks like he's going to be running uh, his go-to, which is going to be... Vault Disc, Scimitar, and Cleaver. Uh, looks like he's uh, going to be putting in Circuit Line Dash as kind of a defensive, uh, you know, runaway tactic. But from the way he's going to be running this Scimitar Flame Cleaver build, is definitely going to be roping him in and hitting him with those blasts and keeping that combo going and the timing right. And it's a really, really, really great touch of death combo that he has going on over here um, yeah i agree uh and and over on the right we're gonna have c who's gonna have a mixture of distance with his basic with uh the bouncing flame um along with an offensive dash with the the drill dash i i really like that it's um it, it has a pursuit and snare ability where it was gonna lock him in place where uh, it's actually going to give him an opportunity to throw out that twin turbine that he has over in his standard, which is very, very good offensive, uh, you know, aggression, shutting down areas where your opponent is going to be and zoning them, uh, you know, once you actually have them where you want them. Uh, that being followed up, which is a little confusing, but it actually kind of makes sense, too, because he's going to be very, very close range, which is going to be the homing flares. The homing flares are actually going to be uh, pretty decent with tripping up his opponent uh, while he's pursuing him and maybe actually helping him get that twin turbine out in front of him while he's uh, tripping him up. So it's actually going to be... Uh, a fairly aggressive defensive build up against a hyper aggressive short range build. So it's actually gonna be a really, really interesting uh, matchup. So uh, let's take a look at uh, and, and and see if these guys are gonna be ready. Are you ready, uh, Trip? Yep, I'm ready. Awesome. All right. So let's uh, let's get on onto the uh, field. We're gonna give them a, a shout out and uh, and I'll see you down there. All right. All right, round one, here we go. First blood goes okay. to C. Hit him with those bounce and blaze. Ooh, roping him in with that scimitar. Here it comes, here comes that yep, combo. Got, got sent the control already. C feeling him out, moving in with that, but he's just getting blasted. There it goes with that twin turbine. Roped in again with that scimitar. Oh, wow, coming to make quick work. Oh, that was a nice shot. There it goes. Covetous going in almost, you know, at full health. Really getting him with that combo. Yeah, didn't really eat, didn't really get any damage that round on Tim. Yeah, so. it, it just looks like the the downside to what C has. It just it 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 involves him getting right in the effective range of that flame cleaver. Yes. But the funny thing is, like, if he stays on that rim and he gets too close, he's actually going to get hit back with that homing flare, just like he just did right there. Mm-hmm. 
Zoning him out with that bouncing ball. Hit him with that. Yeah, he, you know, Covetous has way too much range. And now he has quick closing abilities with that seismic leap. Yep, it's, it's the best of both worlds. Here it comes. What are they doing? It's just a Mexican standoff until those cooldowns come down and he's just roping him in. Dodging a lot of dancing. So far, pretty. Playing defensively. See who's chipping him down. Evened up right now. And that cleaver is just devastating in those corners. Hitting him. Bobbing and weaving. Unusually long uh, battle here. Oh, yeah. They tend to be quicker than this. Oh, yeah. Well, that last round is definitely way quicker, but I think that C found that effective range, and he's staying just outside it. You know, it's just a double-edged sword for him because for him to really have some good effect with that twin turbine, he's got to really be getting really, really close. Yep. So let's see if they're going to be changing anything out here. Looks like C is going to be going for a different robe. Let's see what he picks. Ooh. Okay, he's going for a health regeneration. That's very interesting. And mm -hmm. lower stun. In a different yep. arena. I've never played this uh, one yet. Yeah, this, uh, this actually cuts down your stun lock. So if he's hitting him with that scimitar, he's actually going to be able to break out of it, which is really, really... Smart wow. move for him. Okay. But again, double-edged sword. He's got that twin turbine. Now it's it's gonna lose that snare. Ooh, wow. Taking big hits. And it looks like you can't go to the corner there. Nope. Because of that uh damage. All he has to do is stay away. He's trying to get that health back up, and look, it's coming back up. He's back at full health. What do you mean? It it oh his cloak God, has his robe generates. HP, yeah. Yeah, very interesting pick. I, you know. Oh, but it stays at a hundred. Yeah. So as long as he stays wow, okay. out of out of, uh, out of range and doesn't take any damage, his health is going to come back up. Look, back at full health again. That's interesting. Yeah, you know that's wow, really, okay. you know that was a really interesting. But you can't strategy. get caught. You cannot get that's caught. That's the problem. Yes, if he catches him at all with that scimitar combo, it's just lights out. But again, you have a lot of confidence in your ability. Oh yeah. He's, you know, see, you know, he's looking like a strategist here. That was really, really some out of the box thinking. I really appreciate it. Stay in that distance, but you can't get caught in those corners, man. And see, just right then and there, he hit him with that twin turbine, but because they're on the no stun arena, it didn't do what it needed to do for him. Yep. Dancing away. Yeah, those corners are deadly. Yep, Covetous is really trying yeah, to Yeah, I'm not a in. fan of... That was a very unorthodox move, but... 100 HP is just... It's, it, it's it, it, too it little. It is too little. It's not enough. It is too little. I, I, I'll have to agree. I, I would have went with a really, really long-range build with something like that. Uh, you know, the build that he's using is... It's too toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You know, he, he has to yeah, get way yeah. too close. I mean, he had the right idea with the bouncing blaze, but the turbines and the, and the homing flare really needed him to get close. But with that, we're going to have to call a winner on that, and it uh, it goes to Covetous. Very well played, C. Uh, and that's going to wrap it up for this uh, pre preliminary uh, match, and we're going to move on to uh, the winner of Birdwatcher vs. Scary Jack.